Hello, my name is Neil Sengupta. Uh, along with my co-authors, we are from Beth Israel Diggins Medical Center, uh, Division of Gastroenterology in Boston, Massachusetts, in the United States. The title of our article, uh, accepted for publication in Endoscopy, is The Admission Glasgow Blatchford Score is Associated with Recurrent Bleeding After Discharge for Patients Hospitalized with Upper Gastrointestinal Bleeding. Upper GI bleeding is a very common reason for hospitalization in the United States and is associated with significant costs and morbidity. There is data using risk scores at uh, initial hospital triage to predict um, outcomes such as the need for endoscopic intervention, requirements of blood transfusion, as well as in-hospital rebleeding and need for surgery. However, there is limited data on the risk factors for adverse outcomes after initial discharge and whether scoring systems at initial hospitalization can predict the occurrence of post-discharge adverse outcomes. In order to answer this question, we conducted a prospective observational cohort study of consecutive patients admitted to our center with upper gastrointestinal bleeding. We then followed uh, those patients surviving to discharge for 30 days after their initial discharge to measure whether they had recurrent bleeding as an outpatient or whether they required um, any hospitalization within 30 days of discharge, as well as recording, uh, recording overall mortality. Based on prior literature, we chose uh, a priori uh, Glasgow Blatchford score of greater than 7 as uh, stratifying the patients as being high risk. Um, what we found was patients with a high-risk uh, Glasgow Blatchford score tended to be older, uh, they tended to require more blood products during their initial hospitalization, and they tended to require uh, intensive unit care more often. Uh, of those patients surviving to initial hospital discharge, 20% were actually readmitted within 30 days of um, initial discharge, uh, and 8% were actually readmitted with recurrent gastrointestinal bleeding. Um, on a multivariate analysis, uh, we found that uh, patients with high-risk uh, Glasgow Blatchford scores during their initial hospitalization were more likely to come in with recurrent gastrointestinal bleeding. Uh, we also found uh, and identified other variables that were associated with 30-day hospitalization uh, for patients initially admitted with upper GI bleeding, uh, which included patients with cirrhosis, uh, as well as patients with an increased number of comorbidities. Uh, we feel that this is very important as this is likely the first American cohort study examining risk factors for adverse outcomes post-discharge for patients admitted with upper gastrointestinal bleeding. Uh, and more importantly, patients at high risk for adverse outcomes uh, after initial discharge, specifically in our cohort, we identified patients with a high uh, Glasgow Blatchford score, uh, patients receiving blood products, uh, and patients receiving endoscopic intervention. Those patients should likely be followed very closely after the, their initial discharge to um, ensure compliance with proton pump inhibitors, uh, ensure treatment uh, of H. pylori when present, uh, and avoidance of non sterile anti inflammatory agents. Um, the goal would be to uh, ensure uh, that we can try to reduce the risk of adverse outcomes in, the, in this high risk uh, group. So, what are the next steps based on the results of our data? Well, based on our results, the optimal Glasgow Blatchford score cutoff may actually be higher than 7 in uh, the optimal score at, at where uh, you can predict um, an increased risk of recurrent bleeding after discharge. Future studies are indicated to confirm and investigate this cutoff. Um, and more importantly, uh, future studies are necessary to um, determine whether specific post-discharge interventions, uh, such as early clinic follow-up, documentation of compliance with therapy um, can reduce the risk of outpatient bleeding as well as reduce the risk of overall 30-day hospital readmission in uh, the large group of patients admitted with upper gastrointestinal bleeding. In summary, uh, we found that uh, for patients admitted with uh, upper GI bleeding to the hospital, the 30-day re-bleeding rate is uh, 8% and the 30-day uh, overall all-cause readmission rate is 20%. And patients with a high-risk uh, GBS score at admission, uh, those patients are at risk for early recurrent bleeding. Thank you very much.